All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're here to do a sponsored game overview on Orbeats on the Oculus Quest 3. It is a high octane action sports game set to a soundtrack that you're trying to chase your high scores and challenge your friends to beat them. And you're gonna be transported to these alien worlds where you're gonna have to navigate these ancient alien temples. And the only thing you're gonna have in your hand is a racket and a laser and a gravity tether. So this is a really interesting game because this is basically taking, uh, you know, a sports game and kind of mixing it with the music genre. So so we don't have a lot of games like this in VR. It's kind of a unique in that standpoint. So let's go ahead and take a look. Game in tech, eating brekkie is the game in tech. Going for a brekkie is the game in tech. Game in tech is the game in tech. Game in tech. Is all right guys welcome back to another video we are here with Orbeats on the oculus quest 3 as you guys can see here really excited to check this game out you guys know i love my vr rhythm games i love you know beat saber and you know other games in the genre like that that are all about music rhythm games and this is another game like that but this game is very different from some of those other games that are you know all about music rhythm this is actually using you know, a sports mixed into rhythm where you're actually using a racket to hit the ball back and forth and, and kind of feeling like you're playing a sports game at the same time that you're playing this music rhythm game. So I'm excited to dive in. So let's go ahead and check it out here. We're here at the main menu here. As you can see, there's two different mode modes. There is a journey mode and there is survival. And of course, they have leaderboard support. Survival, uh, we'll get into just for a minute at the very end, just showing you that you basically play one song and then, uh, you know, you try to survive as long as possible. Journey is the actual main mode. I main mode of the game i guess you can say where you're actually going through multiple levels and they have bosses and stuff that you're trying to fight against and uh you guys will see what that's like because we're going to go ahead and start with that you can see that they have different uh you know levels that you can play against they have five different chapters in here that you can kind of start with we're going to go ahead and start with the passage of truth and you can see that each level has you know different areas that you're going to go through we're going to go ahead and start in the beginning you can practice each one of these, or and they all have three different difficulties. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do normal mode for the time being. So like I said, this game is interesting, and each level has its own unique design that you guys will see. And you have a racket in one hand and something right here. And the goal is to hit these blocks before they actually come at you. And you're using your right hand to throw these blocks, and some of these blocks will eventually you know, do other things. And this is not good. This one's about to hit us. There we go. Sometimes the ball hits too hard. So you can't always get it if it's that high. And if you actually take damage, and this is actually harder than I thought, maybe we should have started on easy here. But if they get to the edge here, that's how you take damage. And you, if you take enough damage, of course, you are gonna lose. And we are not doing very well. As you guys can see. Oh, we just missed all those yellows. Yeah, we didn't do very well. We're gonna have to do that over. That was uh, terrible. Trying to talk and do this at the same time might be a little hard. So let, let's actually try that again. But we're gonna go ahead and try... Um, we're gonna start on the same level. But we're gonna do casual. Just to show you guys. That, it's easier for me to show you that way. And then we'll move up to go to normal afterwards. It's probably a better idea. So here we are, like I said, racking in one hand, this on the other, and you have your multiplier there at the bottom times 10. And essentially I am firing this uh, right here with my hand. And then you can hit the ball back uh, like you could in like a racket game, uh, which is what this is trying to mimic. But sometimes the ball's too high and you can't actually hit it. So you can tether the ball, the, the uh, ball back by using the grip button. So if it's that high, so you don't have to waste time waiting for it to, to kind of come back, you can tether it back real quick. Because your goal is, of course, to not make sure that these blocks don't actually hit the front. Because if they hit the front, that's how they actually explode. We still got hit once. Got that one at least. There we go. And now you see how that's flashing? That's our adrenaline. If you hold it, now you have a gigantic cannon that shoots out when you actually have your adrenaline maxed out to kind of just hit everything. So that's pretty cool. Again, they're also trying to hit these blocks and hit that as well. This definitely requires a lot of movement. I need to get better at moving, but it's hard to do this while also showing you guys. But let's go ahead and get a little bit more into this. Now that you guys know, that's a little too high for me. Unfortunately, my skills are not too high for that. Luckily, I can take this back 
and fire it back down. Because my ceilings are way too, uh, way too low for me to even attempt to hit that. So you can see some of the blocks do different things depending on where what song you're actually in. So you can see we have our little uh, thing again. We have our adrenaline maxed out. You can see we're at 100 times. You can see the orange triangle ones explode everything around it. So some of the blocks as, the, as you progress through the game, they all do different things. You can see the orange, the, the, the uh, gold one, or the triangle one is awesome because it knocks everything out. So those would be the ones you would want to fire at if you can. That's too high for me. That was a good one. Oh. There we go. Oh, too high. Oh, now we got the blue ones. You can see here. These you gotta hit twice. We got our adrenaline again so we can knock those all out. We still had a hundred times multiplier. Ooh, the whole level kinda kinda changed though. That was cool. Oh, that was kind of the end of the stage, so that makes sense on how it kind of flashed. There you go. That's my score. Best rally is only four. Obviously, you get point, you get higher score if you actually rally with the with the racket more often. But I did a terrible job to show you guys that the first time because this game is hard. It's not easy, especially uh, it requires a lot. You can get really active in the game and stuff like that, uh, which is really cool. Uh, but obviously, I'm working with a smaller room here to show you guys here where I record. So sometimes it's a little hard to move the full entire length, especially the ceiling portion. But that's your new high score. And then in journey mode, you can kind of continue and you go to the next stage here. Uh, to see what is going on and it's not just blocks that you're going to encounter which is what i want to show you guys eventually so you can see here a little bit of a, a different environment that we're in here and eventually you get to like a boss and stuff which is really cool let me turn these out Damn it, we missed that one already. Oh, we got like a, you can get like a power up. You can get power ups in this game as well. We just got our first one. You can see how big the ball actually is. We got our little adrenaline rush again. Knock these all out. Um. But you can see we still got to see there. Well, at least we got a higher rally. We got six instead of four uh, from last time. Well, we got a boss. This is what I was talking about. We're at a boss level. Because this is the fourth level. So now you got to also take him out. You got to dodge. Oh, you got to dodge his... Uh, Lasers literally out of the way. That was gonna be interesting. Gotta dodge his lasers. While not getting hit. And also taking care of his blocks. Nope. He's not hitting me with that laser. Doing some damage to his eyes there. He got me with that. Doing some damage to him now with the laser. There it is. So we got to hit him with that, with uh, with our adrenaline rush there. To do our most amount of damage. There we go. Nope. Hit him with that. Yep. Nice.
Him and I again. Get him with the adrenaline. Oh, he got me. I wasn't paying attention. some blocks so I can get my adrenaline back up and I just got hit by him damn it almost got the adrenaline back up there it is. Oh no, I'm gonna die. No. But we had the adrenaline so close. So, so close. We had a good rally there with 11 too. But I will leave you guys to explore beating that boss level. There's no reason for us to redo it here in this video. But you guys get the idea of, of what this is like. And then as you progress through each one, passes the true temple of power and stuff, you can see that each one has its own, you know, kind of level that you can play. Uh, the, the experience is different and stuff like that. And like I said, we're just scratching the surface because there are more power-ups in the game. So different blocks will do different things. Some will explode. Some will give you a larger ball like you guys saw. But there are uh, more power-ups that you get in the game. The blocks all do certain things as you progress through these different levels to keep things interesting. So you're not going to, you know, passes the truth when you play Temple of Power is not going to be the exact same thing that you're, you're playing. And then, like I said, you have leaderboards for Act 1, which is what we just did, passes the truth. And then for each act, and then you could do the survival, which actually shows you the ranking for survival. And like I said, survival is just about surviving as long as you can. So we're going to show that here real quick, just so you guys can get an idea. The longer you survive, the higher you get on the leaderboard. So it's not about beating the chapter like it is on that first one there and getting the high score. So here we are. how long we can actually last here. Get some good rallies going here. Oh, no. our big ball. going to get progressively harder and harder, uh, which is why it's called survival.
Ice Wonder. Crazy. I gotta hit these, hit these blocks twice over here. This is not good. Oh, we just got it. So, as you can see, you kind of go to the next one here, and now you're trying to survive the next one. There. And just going through the multiple stages in the game, the multiple songs, trying to survive as long as possible without dying as you get thrown different things at you. But I think that gives you guys a good idea. I'm not going to uh, sit here and play the whole survival mode. Uh, we'll end the run here. Uh, so you guys, you know, get a feel for exactly what that's like there. And, uh, yeah, that is basically, I'm going to leave you guys, uh, just by ending the game, by just playing another one of these, just so you guys can get a different scenario, uh, just so you guys can see it. Um, and I'm going to do normal and, and not last very long anyway, before we wrap this up. But yeah, the game's really cool. Like I said, uh, each environment is cool. Uh, it, it's a loosely music rhythm game. It does have music in the background. The blocks are kind of going to it. Has a really good art style and stuff. And like I said, it is really unique. But you don't necessarily need to hit the blocks, you know, on beat like you do in Beat Saber, for example. It's not exactly how the game here works. But it does have the music in the background. You're hitting it and kind of being actively moving around. I should be doing more moving around, but like I said, I'm working with a limited space here, so it's a little harder while I record this video, but you guys get the idea uh, of what we're trying to do here. And yeah, so like I said, different different types of boxes that you'll run into, different bosses that you'll have to, you know, fight against stuff, which is really unique. Uh, like I said, I haven't really played anything like this before as far as a music game combined with a sports, you know, action game with a racket and stuff like that. Uh, you know, kind of reminds me of C-Smash in certain ways. Um, so, if you're looking for a game like this, I would definitely urge you guys to check it out. The game is currently on the pets, like I said. Really unique game out there. Check it out if you guys want to. Or beats on the Oculus Quest 3. And we're going to die right here. Stage game Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Thank you.